Okay, we're going to get started here, and as you can see in the vise, um, got a little teeny nip with uh, natural, just kind of a natural coloration, coloration here, and this is on a uh, size 12, uh, number 1560 uh, Daiichi. And we're going to put this baby in here. This is just your uh, standard wet fly nymph hook. Um, it's actually got a little bit of a longer shank. It's okay. You can tie these with a much shorter shank hook, but I'm just going to show you here. Kind of a longer body. Um, and this is the real, this is the basic pattern. Um, so pretty much has the one, uh, <coughs> basically the one uh, material. Um, using black uh, thread, just some uni thread here, and when you're picking this off, you know, it, this is the thing, you're trying to match it to get the right amount for this, you know, the fly you're using. So on this one, I'm going to grab, you know, a good, oh, probably maybe close to 20, these little pheasant tail fibers, maybe a few more, just grab a nice clump somewhere in there, I'm going to cut that off, and I'm going to take this, and now you got to just tie it into the right spot so when you wrap it you end up having just the right amount so i think probably right about here just where it starts to turn color i'm gonna tie that in right there you can just cut that off and this pattern is you know literally you'll see this thing is takes. I'm not sure how much time we're taking here, but it is fast to tie. And um, there's other colorations, and I'll be doing an interview with Jim here tomorrow, so I'll provide a link um, to that in the uh, in the show notes, or at least in the notes of this this post. But um, we'll be talking, I'm sure, about this, uh, all the different flies. But so once you get this, you just take the pheasant tail, and you just start spinning it, and you just hold it tight so you don't break it off and I guess one question would be you know what happens when a fish bites it I think it would start splaying on you breaking and you know maybe that's I mean I guess that it's definitely it can be a good thing um, for fish I'm just gonna go right there and then you just kind of tie it off I mean that's basically your this is gonna be your head get that off tied really tight and then you just take this thing and you kind of pull it around you know, depending on where you got on the fly here, I like to I like to kind of spread it out a little bit, so it kind of goes around and back. You can see how it just kind of spreads, and then you can get it almost like a little furry whiskers on a scruffy guy. Just pull these back, and then once you can pinch them, just like that, then you can wrap over it, and you can just kind of finish your do a little just a little head and. And again, there's like different colors of body material. You can use um, different color thread. I know Jim uses lots of different color thread, but basically that's the fly. You, you pull it back, and then you got this, you know, pheasant tail. Um, not a pheasant tail, but you're using pheasant tail. And, uh, and then you just tie it off to your whip finish. And uh, as you can see, there's... It's pretty pretty simple here and that just gives you you know you can see what this fly looks like it's got it's got its little legs it's just really basic really streamlined um, so that's just your natural um, natural teeny nymph uh, trout fly and uh, there's some other variations that I'm sure we'll talk about uh, here in the interview but uh, thanks for stopping by um, if you want to uh, check out any more patterns we have you can uh, stop by wetflyswing.com and uh, just click on the videos link and you'll be taken to a bunch of the other stuff we have going on. So uh, thanks a lot. We'll see you soon.